you have any idea where he is? No. I wish I knew. The On Your Side investigators track a missing man, missing government vehicles, and missing money. And we are talking about the taxpayer dollars. That's because the man entrusted to sell surplus government vehicles is nowhere to be found. On Your Side investigator Dan Tilkin followed his trail. So, Dan, that trail could lead overseas. Right. At least five government agencies want to know where the owner of the auction yard in North Portland has gone. The attorney general is investigating 43 complaints overall. When we were at the owner's house today, we learned some other heavy Heavy hitters are looking for him too. The Zakula Beal Auctioneer's Yard in North Portland is padlocked shut. This list of 16 Multnomah County surplus vehicles and seven TriMet items are among the things this man, Fadi Asham, was supposed to auction off, then turn profits back to taxpayers. Asham's yard manager says he gave Asham the money after the last auction in December. Then Asham disappeared. Uh, the first story that I heard was that he went to Vegas and uh, he had a heart attack and he was in the hospital and uh, I heard he had a tumor uh, and he was in the hospital and then the last word that I got was that he had been deported. The Oshams house is empty, a mortgage company notice on the door. It's here we found two insurance investigators, one from Nebraska and the other from L.A., looking for clues. Rod Olson thinks it's because Fadi bought and sold cars as part of another business and didn't pay back the loans. And now those companies are out, I mean, together, well over a million dollars. The Oshams were also in the news just five months ago, after their house was shot up multiple times. Investigators say their neighbor, Vadim Ignatov, fired on their house because the Oshams are Muslim. Mrs. Osham told us the violence brought back thoughts of their war-torn Lebanon. I didn't believe, like, no way, not again, you know, I was just, I want to be safe, especially now I have kids. But Rod Olson doesn't think the violence then and the disappearance now are related. No. Now, a DMV spokesman tells me they think that Ocham has left the country. Rod Olson says Ocham walked out on a deal to sell his company for $1.2 million. And we're talking about a fair amount of money that's missing here, Dan. Right. Multnomah County, about $40,000 worth of items. Overall, we're told about a quarter million dollars worth of vehicles. How bizarre. All right, Dan, thank you.